I am going to share one of my favorite dessert recipes with you um, from the Trim Healthy Mama uh, cookbook that was written by Rashida Simpson. She is the niece of the Trim Healthy Mama authors, sisters, Pearl and Serene. And Rashida published her own cookbook that Pearl and Serene did contribute some recipes to, but majority of the recipes in here are Rashida's own creations and she's a very clever cook so I've enjoyed her recipes. Um, the one I'm sharing with you is this brownie cheesecake from her cookbook pages 284 and 285. Even though it has two layers it goes together really fast. It's uh, fast and easy um, and I made a double batch yesterday. I made two pie plates filled with it. The next time I make it, I think I'm going to take, I'm still gonna make a double batch, but I'm gonna bake it in a nine by 12 casserole and cut it into squares. So I will show you what um, my version looked like. First, I'll show you the meal that I had yesterday where it was my dessert, and then I'll show you how I am going to freeze up the remaining pieces because um, it's nice to have sweets tucked by for um, nights where we feel like having something sweet. This is the meal that I served yesterday that uh, the brownie cheesecake pie was my dessert. I had a plate of Nucci greens topped with some seasoned pan fried chicken tenders I had a bowl of, um, kind of, I guess I'd call it a yogurt bowl with chia seed and strawberries. There was yogurt underneath, you can't see in the picture. Um, I think there was flax, ground up flax seed in there, pumpkin seeds, and some crushed up Brazil nuts topped the whole thing. Uh, the jar that is sitting there has celery sticks in it, and I used the water as my drink. So I drank the water, I ate the celery sticks, I ate the salad plate, and I finished with the brownie cheesecake pie. Here is what my brownie cheesecake pie looked like when I finished baking it and cut out a slice. It's very different looking than Rashida's version that is shown in her cookbook. I've read posts by other people saying that the cheesecake topping did not stay on top for them either, but the main point is that it tastes good. Here are the slices that are left, and I'm about to wrap each one individually and then put it back in the freezer. So I tear off sheets of plastic wrap and lay them down and uh, kind of do assembly line style. And then each of the pieces of the dessert gets to be individually wrapped and kept in the freezer for when a, a snack attack or a dessert attack hits. So I'll show you, then I put them all in a container. So I'll show that to you in a minute when I've got these wrapped up. Um, this dessert came up after I made it yesterday. It came up on an um, answer to somebody asking the question, which Trim Healthy Mama dessert seems like they uh, best dessert for people who are not using Trim Healthy Mama, that they won't even know that there are substituted in um, baking blends that are low carb and low fat, and that they won't notice the um, different sweetener taste. So a lot of people piped up with this particular recipe. On Rashida's picture of her pie, the white stuff was all pure white on the top, um, but I've made this twice and the white stuff, when I, the cream cheese part, when I pour it on the top of the brownie batter here, it sinks to the bottom. 
So I wanted to set your expectations straight as to what my experience has been. If I were serving this pot, uh, brownie cheesecake slice to guests, I would probably put a generous amount of whipped cream on top. And the other thing I'm gonna try is to make it as a an eight by, no, I'm gonna double the recipe next time. Again, I, I like doing that. But instead of doing it in pie shape, I am going to, um, I'm gonna make it in the, I guess what, a 12 by, a nine by 12 casserole, whatever. The more family size casserole, and I'm gonna cut it into squares because I think I will like it better that way. And now I'm getting these ready to go, be stored in the freezer. They seem to work pretty well just to go in in triangles like this. Um, so I'll probably have to jerry rig some of it. Anyway, this I will be able to leave for Steve when I'm gone to California and he can just reach in and get himself a piece of brownie cheesecake pie to satisfy a sweet tooth. So there you go on that. When I made that pie, the double batch of the pie cheesecake pie recipe yesterday, I didn't have any more baking blend and I didn't feel like making up a batch. So I used up what I did have, which was some of Elena Cordoba's, I think that's how you say her last name, Elena Cordoba. Um, I had her recipe for making um, a baking blend that she um, calls her Sweet Ease Slimming Baking Blend. And I'll put a link in the description box to point to get you to that uh, baking blend mix. Um, she says it's extra fat burning. It doesn't have any nuts in it. So this recipe, if you use Elena's baking blend, it will be a gluten-free, uh, sugar-free, and nut-free recipe. Um, it doesn't help anybody who has an egg allergy or um, a dairy allergy because it has eggs and cream cheese in it, but um, it may help somebody who has to avoid nut products. So the, that information will be in the description box for this video. Um, let's see if there's anything else I wanted to add. So I said I was going to make it again. I will double the recipe again. I will cook it in a 9 by 12, 9 by 13 pan and I'll cut it up into squares or rectangles and freeze those. But it is um, a dessert that I like to make and I've made it before with baking blend and this time I made it with Sweet Ease Slimming Baking Blend, her extra fat burning baking blend. Again, all that will be in the description box for this video. There you go.